I'm Jeff Kaufman, member of the Bougie Boys Spikeball Club, and I'll be reviewing the Spikeball Mammoth set today. And here to help me is fellow member of the Bougie Boys Spikeball Club, Seth Rudine. <laughs> How's it going, Jeff? It's going pretty good. I'm pretty excited about this Spikeball Mammoth set. As you can see, it's pretty giant. Just, yeah, take a look at, look, look at how big this box is. That's a big box right here. Well, let's dig right in. <clears throat> mammoth set, in set includes Mammoth Frame, which is tough, durable, mammoth. The sturdiest frame we've ever created. That's exciting, you know? I wonder if uh, it'll actually work as a baby trampoline as everyone thinks. <laughs> For real, right? I'm also curious to see like if people fall on it, because some people fall on it. See how, see how that works. Yeah, absolutely. I don't really want to test that though. <laughs> Not right away, anyway. Uh, True Fit Spider Net, uh, consistent bounce every time. That's intriguing. No more retightening nets. I like that. I do and like that even too. distribution. I'm also very excited about that. There's mm. good. There's a lot of good stuff here. Yeah. And then the new paracord system for easy installation. Yes. I, that's that's going to be good. That's going to be good. Oh yes. Uh, the Mav One Ball. Mmm. The new ball. Revolutionary soft touch uh, paneled ball design for enhanced performance. I'm intrigued to feel how that feels. And then a smuggler bag, of course. <laughs> okay, so I saw a picture of the smuggler bag, and it was like, it was big. Well, you know, it has to be big because of the mammoth set, but you're not smuggling anything in that thing. It's giant. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe you can, like, get more sets in there. Ah, maybe that's what they meant. Ah, right. Uh, and then mammoth feet, of course, to stabilize mammoth with shock absorbing feet. Okay, yeah, oh, just got the seen. whole new design here. I'm very excited. So let's open this puppy up, why don't we? Let's get to it. Let's get this sucker open. Which way? And then just everything is right. Oh, this is why the bag can't be small because the peas are freaking giant. It is a mammoth set. Oh, that's cool. I didn't see that it had that little, that's nice little spike ball over there. Yeah. The little mammoth one? guy. Oh, well, I guess we were 500, 510. Dang. So apparently they numbered the first thousand of these and we got the 510. We were hoping for a lower number but 510 is still cool so that's still fun um i don't see the oh maybe the leg parts are in the bag so this is what one two three four pieces where the hooks go i guess nice spike ball logo like the mammoth stuff happening there that's it's pretty cool it's thick it's they weren't lying they made her they made her mammoth Alrighty. Let's uh, take a look at that. I bet that's in there. Nope. Got me. Not the net, huh? Oh, what? I didn't know that you know it came with. You got some pro spikes. Huh. Interesting. I don't know why I didn't even know that it came with these. Well, that'll give us a reason to compare with the. Oh my goodness, feel that. That's wow. crazy. It's kind of like a football. Man, that. that ball that's what it's a little bit hard what? interesting it's like soccer ball -y. yeah it looks a little bit funky and it looks a little bit oblong right now but <laughs> it looks a lot cleaner on the website <laughs> but that's huh you can kind of see it. it's almost like a little bit square cubular yeah if you will okay oh, what's this belt <laughs> the new spike belt. I think this might be for the legs to like put them in the bag. Oh sure. But I can be wrong. Ooh, Interesting. There's that net stuff. Okay, this is what I'm very excited about. Because one of the big things. Oh, it is what? Oh, it's a drawstring. I guess. I didn't know. Huh. Oh, I guess that'll make it easier to put on. 
There's the bag for the net. Net bag. Net bag. Oh yeah. And maybe balls. I don't know. Huh. So I don't know if you can see this, but the, the net is almost, it's not like the old net that they used to have. At so all? The, the, the netting is a lot smaller um, and it, more of a mesh. Yeah, and it's less stretchy, which might provide more consistent play, like over time, because sometimes you'd have to retighten the old spike ball stuff. Yeah. But we'll see how this goes. This will be Ain't interesting. No tightening this guy. Yeah, okay. And this looks like it's the smuggler bag. Oh, it's a whole briefcase. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like, I don't, okay, they say smuggler. But I don't think you could take this as your carry-on on an airplane. Like, I think it's too big. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, it's a, it's a giant smuggler bag. Maybe like you said, because you can smuggle your small friend in here to a spike ball match with you. But wow, it's, it's big. Oh, but it's got fun zippers on the sides. And a gallon water bottle holder. I mean, you have Perfect. a gallon jug. So. I do have a gallon jug. Maybe they, they, they probably had me in mind. Interesting. Well, let's set this puppy up. Aren't there little, there should be little screw things. Oh, yep. those are the feet. Perfect. Yep. The mammoth feet. Is it? Okay, nice little rubbery down there for in court play. It's a bit cushy. A little bit cushy. So it won't slide around if you're playing inside. <laughs> It's all about the, the screwy feet. All about the screwy feet. That's what I always say. It's all about the screwy feet. Alright, let's try to... This net is also going to be pretty interesting. Is that tighter? No, it's probably about the same. Uh, interesting. This ball seems really hard though. Huh. Whoa. It like slides weird. Huh. You <laughs> some killer drop shots without it. It's interesting. Much more, like, I think it's meant to like slow down the action off the net. Oh, that could be. Uh, interesting. But that's the mammoth set with the really weird oblong mammoth ball well uh we'll have to take this hit it around a bit and let you know what we think be right back Not what I thought it was going to be. Not what I thought either. Uh, we've got the Mammoth Ball and the regular Pro Ball. We played with both. Um, it was really hard to get used to the new Mammoth Ball. Um, it felt really weird at first. It's more kind of like a... Like a... I mean, it's like a, a sports equipment now. Yeah. It's, it's not just a toy, you know? It's almost like a... It feels kind of like a football that's deflated a little bit. I think, texture-wise. Yeah, I think it, I mean, with all the hits on it, I think we kind of rounded it out a bit more. Yeah. Um, we played with this one, and then we played with the regular Pro Ball, and then we went back to the Mammoth Ball. And when we were playing with, when we played with the Pro Ball, like there were, you know how, when you hit your thumb, your thumb butt is what we call it. Oh, it's so bouncy. Oh my God. <laughs> but we didn't really have very many with the, with the Mammoth Ball. I think that was honestly a big improvement because you could have more longer and better rallies with this ball, which I thought was very interesting. Yeah, so you know we're thinking maybe it's easier for you know the less experience to play with because it's you have more control over the ball as you're playing, uh, as opposed to the really bouncy rubber. Another thing that we're looking at is the net. Seemed like you could play almost off of all of it. Like, depending on how hard your hits were. There was one where we had a drop shot that hit, like, it looked kind of like it was above the rim, but, like, we didn't hear a thing, and it went off cleanly, and we're like, nice shot. Yeah. <laughs> also, it's, 
this on the inside, it's slanted. And so, like, we, we could hear, like, if it was a rim, we knew that it was a rim. It was so much easier to tell. I think another portion of that can be related to the ball, because, like, it makes a, like, there's a hollow sound when it hits the rim. So it's not only just the rim hitting that you can hear, you can actually hear it in the ball, mm -hmm. which was really nice. Oh, also, we never had to, like, you know, we never had to flip the legs. This is a, a 2.0 set for reference, and if you don't know about the 2.0 set, the right now, the only other video that I've posted is about the 2.0 set, so you should check that out. Um, but this is the 2.0 set, and sometimes, you know, if you're playing spike ball, sometimes the leg just kind of goes in like that, and then you have to, but you can't, it doesn't actually work with this. <laughs> so we never had to stop playing to do that. Um, I don't think it ever moved. Nope. It never moved. I think I liked playing with the mammoth ball better. Um, Especially once getting used to it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it was, it took some of the speed off, which made defense more possible, I thought. Um, but yet it's not a less bouncy ball. Like, so for example, you know, do a bounce test. Oh well, my God, was like the exact same. It's just as bad. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. But it plays a lot slower off the net mm -hmm. because of its texture. Yeah, I also think, it, yeah, it, it's also a lot more grippy on the net too. So you can like get a lot more spin stuff. Like you had a crazy front spin one. And there are some people I thought a really good, some really good backspin, like really good drop serves. <laughs> Those were nasty. The worst. They were nasty. <laughs> um, I know, I'm a really big fan of the ball. It was, I didn't think I was going to like it, but I like it. <laughs> um, no, that's really good. Um, we were also playing, and we think, and we were like, you know what? I think this is taller. And we were like, well, is it though? And so I got the, this set to, to compare, and I, it's it's definitely taller. It's taller. It's tall. It's about probably twice as tall as yeah as this, the two point oh set. And also, it's advertised as the same diameter. And so we did a little flip test, and it the mammoth set kind of fits on the inside. Yeah, just on the inside of the standard 2.0 set, which is maybe potentially like still the playable area. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I thought it was going to be the same diameter, but it looks like it's a little bit smaller. And it's a whole lot taller. Um, which is nice. You don't have to bend over as far to yeah. hit them spikes. Yeah, <laughs> this takes takes some adjusting, definitely. Uh, mm -hmm. But I don't know. I was impressed with this. Pleasantly surprised. Absolutely. With how well it played. Love how well it held together. Never tightening the net is so clutch. Yeah, we never had to worry about that. Although, when we got back, I was just kind of messing with the net, and there's a kind of a little sliding thing here. Like, you can loosen it to help you put it on more, but don't, like, there's nothing to stop this little sliding part from coming off, and it came off, and it was a little bit annoying to put back on. So, if you do get one of those, just be careful of that, I guess. Um, but it was. I mean, the net was really easy to put on. Um, it's consistent tension everywhere. I don't know how long that will last. Like, long, I don't know how long it will stay even, or if the different parts will get worn out more. But we'll sure. just have to, we'll have to see with time. Um, mm -hmm. But I really like this set. Um, but it does have a three hundred dollar price tag right now. Um, so that's kind of the downside. <laughs> If they're still available, I think they. This was they said they printed just a thousand of these. Yep. Um, that's so fair. that's what it says there. <laughs> um, so we'll. See, I don't know if they're gonna make more of them or make them more affordable. I don't know what Spike Ball is gonna do, but I think they're really onto something with this ball. Like that mm -hmm. was a good ball. I also did really like the this whole set. Yeah. Love how it's moving towards real sportage. Yeah, it yeah, this this ball makes it seem a lot more like an actual sport versus like a backyard dinky thing. If you're looking at buying a mammoth set, um that's a it really just depends on how much you want it. Like if you're just like wanting to play spike ball, I would recommend the standard 2.0 set. Cause it's mm -hmm. like it's a really good value and it's a really great set. Um, it'll really get you into it, yeah. It'll really get you into it, and uh, like I recommend, I probably recommend this over the Pro Set, honestly. Um, I like the way that 
Yeah, I'm not gonna get into the details of the set because I made a video. I've done that. Check that old video. Um, but I like this better than the Pro Set, and I would recommend this because it's cheaper and various other things. Um, but this, I don't know, three hundred dollars is a lot of money <laughs> to pay for a sweat ball set. This I think is sixty on the site, so significantly cheaper. Um, I would recommend probably this one for 85% of the population maybe that's playing spike ball and especially this is a lot closer to like the tournament set like I think the right now the official round at association if you're into this um, it goes by the, the pro set spike ball pro set this is a lot closer to the pro set I like it better but um, this is very different plays very different looks different acts different than the pro set or any other sort of spike ball set that I've that we've ever played on. Yeah, I think we'll need some more games on it to really, uh, you know, figure it out. Yeah, um, but I had a lot of fun playing on this set. In the end of the day, the goal is to have fun. Um, I'm we're happy about this I'm purchase. Satisfied, yeah. Um, and looking forward to playing a lot more good spike ball. Absolutely. Yeah. And carrying around this freaking bag. This giant thing. We'll have, to, we'll have to give you guys a shot of it all in the back. That's a For reference, this is the size of all of the other spike ball bags. This is the size of all the other spike ball bags. <laughs> it is like, what, three, twice, three times the size? Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> it's giant. The smuggler. Can we try in there, actually? <laughs> Maybe. Also, this is some, like, this is some good fabric. Like, that's, that's tough fabric. Like, these bags are a little bit dinky, but that's tough. Yeah, that's that's a big bag. Oh, yeah. Um, Good yeah. thing, uh, yeah, if you wanted to travel with a spike ball set, you know, it's not really feasible to put all of your toiletries and clothes into that bag, but with this guy, you can check that sucker on the plane, and you're good to go. Spike yeah. ball and everything. Yeah, just use it as your luggage. Exactly. Yeah, well, that's good. I think it has a little waterproof lining on the inside, so that's good. There you go. I get voting. Spike ball thought about everything. <laughs> yeah. It's a good way to put the buoys on here. For real. Ooh, the mammoth buoy. Spike ball fit us up. <laughs> um, no, I was, I liked the set, but it's 300 bucks. Um, yeah. It was fun to play on. I mean, you're getting twice the material with it. So. You're getting twice the material. I'm not for sure if they replace parts like like if Spike Ball replaces parts on the Mammoth set like they do other sets. But this thing, it's solid. It would probably break you before. It would probably break you. Yeah. Oh yeah. We need to talk about this. Also, thank you. And we we also got a couple things. We can get the rest of the stuff. That was okay. Yep. Um, we got this. We forgot to talk about this in the unboxing portion of the video. We got this lovely letter from Spike Ball. He's basically just telling us to enjoy our spike ball set, signed by Spike Ball Chris. That was kind of fun. Oh, yeah. That, so the nice sticker, the, the new logo, the new logo sticker. Mm-hmm. Fun on the car. <laughs> and then rules and instructions and in, in, like mm -hmm. four or five different languages. So mm -hmm. languages. This yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Also an inflation needle, but we already used that, so yeah. it's not there. Um, yeah, no, it's a good, it's good stuff. Uh, it's a good set. Want to spend 300 bucks on a set? Just go in on it with a partner and then it's not nearly as bad. That's, it's a good plan. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that pretty much concludes this video, uh, review of the Mammoth set. Um, if you have questions about the Mammoth set, Go ahead and throw a comment on this video and we'll try to get back to you and see if we can answer what you got. This has been Round Net Jeff and Spike Ball Seth <laughs> giving you a review today. So thanks for stopping in. Don't forget to like and subscribe, whatever the other no. people say. Dang it, yeah, that's good. We'll, have to, we'll get catch your phrase for that next time. Yeah. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. <laughs>